funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up! Go there and there for uh, my house You had a lot of people talking uh, more, more so talking about Devon's championship ring being ended uh, Was that the plan from the start of the show Or uh, has this been something that just kind of fell into your lap I mean, uh, you gotta be happy about it With what you saw uh, can I get your thoughts on the yeah, I feel like we haven't launched. done one of these in a while, and that's quite all right, because honestly, I've had so much busyness going on, I haven't really had a chance to think of some of the success I've had this summer. So it's really good that we get to address a situation that I think people forget when we talk about success, and that's exactly uh, first wrestling and undermining some of, some of the accomplishments that I've done as far as being one of the biggest players in that whole thing, the a moment maker, a history maker, and this was no different. Um, I think for first wrestling fans, what they did is they started to think that maybe I was going to fade into the background. Like, of course, we have Jake with the Uptown VFW Championship, a championship that I've had twice. Um, I lost to Devon, and everyone was looking at Devon's continuous championship reigns. Everyone was thinking about what he was going to do next and go on to the mall. But I don't think people realized just what I was capable of still, or what we were planning. Now, when you make an open challenge, take it from me, I've, I've known, I've learned this. When you make an open challenge, you have to be ready and you have to verbalize exactly what it means. When you say you'll take on all comers and everybody, well, everyone could come out at once. And that's what Lore, myself, and I did. Now, do we really have a plan necessarily of what we were going to do uh, with that championship? Did we really understand, like, what, would Jake get it? Would Lore get it? Would I get it again? Uh, that was never never an option but what it was is we just wanted to make sure that he understood that no matter what he did that night nothing mattered now look we won our tag match no one remembers that uh warhorse he he beat badger and i mean again no one's gonna think of that they don't remember that we got kicked out they only remember for a fleeting moment that matt cordona was able to swoop in take advantage and end that arrogant reign. He got too big for his britches, too cocky. Devon Monroe went from having potential to basically being his own worst enemy. And the only reason that he has to blame for his reign ending is him. We came out, we answered the call. Cordona answered the call. But here's the part that I really wanna drive home on all this. The, the fact that when we say that nothing matters, think of it, they were already plugging the next shows. As Devon lay in the center of the ring without a championship, which, quite frankly, we were all quite proud of. It wasn't exactly the plan that we have, but, you know, sometimes you got to audible a little bit, and sometimes a miracle comes by. But as he laid there in the ring, they just talked about what the upcoming matches were. Everything was proceeding as normal. We have, all, we have the mall. Don't forget about the mall. Don't forget about the mall. But the thing that people were forgetting is that Devon... After 1,000 days, 1,000 days, just a number, a continuous number, please tell me what milestone he reached on day 684. Tell me what big moment happened on 387. Can you tell me any of those as a continuous champion? No, it's just buzzwords. It doesn't matter. So Devon goes into the Mall of America now, a former champion. Matt Cordona is going to be there, the current champion. Is he going to be at any of the shows coming up? Maybe not. Are you going to think that Jake is not the most credible champion that we have right now at the moment? Well, you'll probably try and, try and undercut him as well. But right now, when you look at the champions who are going to hold this company up, actually, you might want to look at the guy who's always held this company and that is me. I've carried it on my back and I've continued to do so of being a moment maker. Devon couldn't do it anymore. I just took out the knees. Cardona took out the rest. But again, did it matter? No. We're already looking forward to the future. Is he going to get it back? That won't matter either. Because I don't think he will. you got to bounce back from adversity. Not everyone has the longevity that I have. That's what we try to prove.